What's going on, y'all? Thank you for coming and checking out this video. Thank you for coming to the channel. You are appreciated. Thank you. In today's video, we're gonna talk about three reasons why DJs that are using turntables might wanna think about switching over to a controller. Let's get into it. All right, first things first, if you haven't done it already, please hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to this channel so you can check out all the dope videos and DJ performances I've been putting out on my shorts. This, the buttons, it's over here, maybe it's up there, depending on how you're watching this whole thing, but every time someone subscribes to this channel, a new DJ learns how to do their first crab scratch. Brat. As DJs, we have so many options nowadays for how we can kind of do our DJ performances. You can use turntables, the OG way, you can use CDJs, and you can use controllers. And today I wanna to talk to you about some of the advantages of why if you're using turntables today, you might wanna think about, you know, using a controller. So using turntables has been the traditional choice for a lot of hip hop and open format DJs over the years. You know, the form factor and the, the way of learning how to DJ on vinyl has been a thing that a lot of people wanna make sure they take with them as they're doing their work in clubs and different events and whatnot. But controllers have become increasingly more popular for a bunch of different reasons. Now, if you've been living under a rock or you don't have access to Wi-Fi, a DJ controller is essentially a new form factor that allows you to utilize your DJ software using the traditional things we're all used to. So using knobs and using faders, you know what I mean? Using EQs and whatnot. But over the years, controllers have become more and more advanced. Controller manufacturers are trying to really hit that turntable market, right? Especially that battle style DJ market. So with the popularity of things like the SRT-1000, uh, the Rain One, and then also the DDJ Rev7, controllers, and turntables are really starting to like, you know, butt heads against each other. And people that are on the fence about making that transition to getting their first controller are starting to think about it. Let me be the example to tell you, it is pretty dope. And let me go through three reasons why I think switching over to controller from turntables is this the next evolution of how we gotta get down for events where you need to bring in gear. The first reason, honestly, is convenience. For the most part, most controllers are a simplified, you know, a smaller form factor. You're not thinking about taking the two turntables and the mixer and each in flight cases, you know, each one 40 pound, 45 pounds each, you know, taking a bunch of room. It's convenient, baby. You got one unit inside one case and you're good to go. Now, like I said earlier, this is super useful for any DJs that are doing mobile DJ work or if you have gigs, we need to bring in gear. You're used to doing this log, bring in turntables, bring in turntables, bring in the mixer, whatnot, whatnot. But once you try it out and use a simplified controller at an event and you say bring in one piece of gear, you stack it down, you plug it in, you power it up, you get it going, it's a, it's a game changer. The second reason is versatility. This new generation of modern controllers is really offering like a bunch of new features and a bunch of forward thinking technology to really take your DJing to the next level. Talking about things like stems integration, like natively incorporated into the layouts of these controllers. If you're using Serato 3.0, it's pretty dope. Offering things like, you know, instant scratch functionality. So to have the, the ability to have onboard scratch functions and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Not to mention you have a bunch of extra buttons and knobs you can MIDI map to be able to customize your DJing. Things that, you know, if you're using the traditional, you know, DJ MS9, 1200 setup, you just don't really have that functionality. If you don't need it, that's dope. But if you're looking to push things forward and try some new stuff out, it's the perfect time to get into the controller game, baby. And an added bonus for having more of these features of your DJ software incorporated into the actual controller itself is it kind of helps you to untether from, uh, you know, the point and click of the screen and staring at the screen like we're all used to doing, staring at that Serato, having that Serato face all over your face and staring at the screen, bright, bright, looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. And the third reason is affordability. So for the most part, DJ controllers are honestly just much cheaper than the, tr the traditional DJ setup, you know? Going out and buying two turntables, uh, mixer, uh, phase DJ, uh, needles if that's what you're into still, that's cool, you do you baby, no one's gonna try to change your mind, although this entire video is honestly kind of about changing your mind, but I digress. Essentially, controllers are kind of a cheaper all-in-one option. It makes DJing a little bit more accessible for new DJs or for someone that's ready to maybe sell some of the gear they have and transition to a controller. So I'm not just saying this, you know, I did the math, I've got the receipts, thinking about getting uh, two turntables, a DJ MS7, that's the more modern mixer than the S9, and maybe a phase DJ, that's gonna run you around 3,500 bucks. Right? That's before tax and whatnot, uh, depending on where you live, right? Uh, but if you wanna get a controller, say even a high-end one, a DDJ Rev7, something like that, that's two grand. So this means that if you're either a new DJ or even a veteran DJ, you know, uh, you can get pro level gear, even the most high-end controller, uh, for less than it would be if you're gonna get a full DJ traditional turntable setup. Controller season uh, 2023, you tell me? So to wrap things up, 
there are several reasons why DJs that are using the traditional DJ setup of turntables and a mixer might want to think about transitioning to a controller. DJ controllers are convenient, they're versatile, and honestly, they're a little bit more affordable. So with all that being said, if you love your turntable setup, I am not, yeah, I'm not trying to get you to change your mind. You know what I'm saying? You do you. I still have my turntable set up. I love it. I still use it. It keeps things fun and entertaining. But if you're in the market for a DJ controller and you were kind of on the fence, you know, now is the time to really think about it. You can simplify your workflow. You can have an all-in-one unit that can do everything that your DJ turntables can do. And honestly, take a step in the future and see what you can do for yourself with all the new tech that's coming out. So what are your thoughts on turntables versus DJ controllers? You got a hot take? If so, let me know in the comments and let's argue. And if you enjoyed this video, you like the conversation, you like thinking about these topics, please take a minute to just like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. You are appreciated. Thank you for taking the time and giving me a few minutes of your life to be able to have a conversation about controllers versus turntables, you know. This is DJ Prime. Thank you all for watching this channel. Peace.